We haven't taken old assets and tried to convert them, tried to sort of sprinkle tech on top and hope it makes a difference. These things have been designed from the ground up, the keel up, the seabed up, to be quite different. And when we get to show customers what we've done, you know, can't wait to get these ships and, and robots and software in our hands to show them what we've done, I think they're gonna be quite shocked and impressed. We were super ambitious about getting more of our systems on the water by the end of that year and early into 21. Definitely by summer 21, we wanted to be operational with some of that kit. It has taken a full year longer, in some places 18 months longer. But we've had a lot of kit on the water, testing, trialing, running it remotely from this RCC. Um, there's a huge amount of capability coming in this coming year and um, late this autumn going into the winter we've got our 78 meter boats finally coming alive and connecting to the RCC so yeah the, the, the fruits of that that hard slog during lockdown are really starting to to, to, to to reap rewards. So with the Armada 78 meter program we really had the chance to design something from scratch that was truly tech enabled for the future. So those ships were designed with the latest fuel cell technologies in mind. They were designed with low Earth orbit satellite comms in mind. They were designed with the latest electric work class ROVs, seabed drills, back deck equipment in mind. So they were designed to be robotic from the start. The most efficient, the cleanest, greenest, safest ships we could imagine. So I think we at Ocean Infinity saw the benefit that came from deploying a large volume of underwater robots. Uh, we, we were gaining experience with small USVs um, and could see that the industry was moving in a direction that would be possible to make larger, more capable vessels, uh, lean crewed or uncrewed. Um, and that's no different from an uncrewed subsea robot. It, it, it can bring a whole heap of different advantages, efficiency in the vessel, improvement in the performance at sea, a reduction in the size and its, and its environmental footprint. Why would we not do that? Is almost the right question. <laughs> so I think the 78 meter is the culmination of multiple efforts in terms of technology to enhance operations for our customers. We have remote systems and, and you know, full control from this, from this RCC. So we can reduce crews, reduce flights around the world for those crews improve the efficiency of the ship by making it smaller, have the lower hotel load, a significant step forward in sustainability. Once we get the chance to do the first job with them, it will be very hard for them to go back to the old way. So our challenge is getting those first jobs with people. But when we can get that first task completed and we look back and we did it for less CO2, less HSE exposure, less fuel burned, as good or better data than before, it's gonna be really hard for them to, to go back to conventional shipping, conventional ways of doing things. Yeah, so I, I'm really excited about the next few months because we bring this, this, this whole system of systems to life. We've got this RCC here, the Remote Control Center that we've been developing, bringing online, commissioning uh, for the last few, few months and it will get switched on to connect to a ship for the first time in the next few months, begin testing and move towards operations. That's just incredibly exciting for everyone at Ocean Infinity. Uh, Ocean Infinity wants to take on challenges that many businesses are too risk averse to take on. We're doing something really difficult here because we believe it's the next step in the maritime industry and it will have a positive impact on the people and planet. I mean, one day in the future there'll be a nice big book in the library of marine technology or marine robotics or whatever, and there'll be a massive chapter on Ocean Infinity and Armada, no doubt about it. This is a huge part of that evolution from maritime industry of old to maritime industry of the future. There's gonna be a big chapter on Ocean Infinity and Armada, and yeah, the team here's got a huge part to playing it, so yeah, it's really exciting.